LTJ Bookham. Hello. How are you doing? He is a founder, um, director, and our man of Good Looking Records. Why did you first start it up? Because in 1990, I've had mm. a tune called Logical Progression, which put out on someone else's label, which I thought at the time. I had no, basically, I had no control over what right. happened with that record and the sales, and I thought, I want to know more about what's going on with my own music, so I so said, the next thing that I put out is going to be my own label. So in 1990, done Demons, and 91, the emergence of Good Looking. Yeah. And since then, you've got loads of other labels linked in with it. Why, why did you feel the need to do that? That was always just a dream of mine to have, not just one label, but have a, be a record label. Not just put out one style of music, yeah. but all styles of music. Why are these sort of progression into, into live music? Um, well, first of all, I've been big fans of Intenses for years. I've known they them. are wicked, yeah. aren't they? Really cool. I've known their music for just like 1990, when they were all knocking out different bits and pieces. So when the chance came for them to sort of, they approached us and said they want to come on the label, it was like, no problem at all. And then they sort of ventured into the live areas, and I thought, well, live air is just a thing that we haven't covered, so like it yeah. seemed like it seemed like a thing to do, like Logical Progression Three, and uh, Tony came up with the idea and said, like, let's do a live thing. So I was like, yeah. How is Tony these days? You still get people doing this ironing. Do you know what? It's fun. The other day was the other day. <laughs> you know, the, other day the other day was packing out a stage in a, in a Manchester. And everyone was like, I think I was playing after Intense, and no one was listening to me. But the kids were like, turn around going, oh, I ain't in, I ain't in. Really? <laughs> I, was like, oh. I was like, no, please. But over the last few years, you've been playing out and everything. <coughs> now you, you're not playing out as much anymore, are you? Just trying to sort of get a balance between production and DJing, because the label and what's happened with the label and the growth of the label mm. has meant that my time is like just squashed anyway, because being a director of a label, it's not just like being an artist, like I was in 93, just making my tunes, knocking a couple of tunes out and DJing every night of the week. It's not the same anymore, it's a lot more responsibility. Tell you what though, if you didn't sleep so much, you'd probably fit a lot more in. Because these days I hear that you go to bed about half past 11. How do you, know, then, how do you then, know my sleeping patterns? Oh, don't worry, I know everything <laughs> about you, Bookham. Um, and like, he, 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 answer, he answers the door in flip-flops and tails wrapped around him. This is blame, man. <laughs> it's telling you nonsense. Right, we've heard all the stories about why you've called yourself LTJ Bookham, and it's, <coughs> oh, it's boring now, isn't it, because everyone asks you that. But, um, let's talk about something. <laughs> it's in that magazine, isn't it? Yeah, do you like Hawaiian shirts? <laughs> do you love them, them, love them. All the time, you know.